Hello, welcome back to the studio. By the time this video gets released, it'll be early July, and not only will it be broiling hot in Canada, but I'll actually be in the Daintree Rainforest uh, down in Australia. Um, so it's a little weird to think that right now I'm filming, sipping hot tea, trying to keep my fingers warm and uh, bundled up. We've had a very, very cool spring in Canada, so even though it's June and usually it would be pretty warm here, um, I'm pretty cold in my studio. Today's video is a collaboration with Ev from Ev Bolt Bolt's Vault. I'll leave her channel linked up above. Ev is a fantastic fellow Canadian watercolor illustrator and artist. Uh, she's based in Montreal, Canada. And uh, today we will both be reviewing the same watercolor palette. Um, so she actually found a great deal for these and we both ordered this Schmincke Horodam watercolor palette. In today's collaboration, we will both be using this palette first to swatch the colors and share our first impressions, and then we'll each be creating a painting using these colors. Since Ev paints mostly cats, and I'm a botanical illustrator, we chose a theme of catnip for this collaboration. So, each of us will swatch out our colors and share our first impressions, and then we'll each create a painting based on the prompt catnip. If you're new here, my name is Lee Angold. I'm a botanical and natural science illustrator based in Kitchener-Waterloo, Canada. On this channel, I share watercolor techniques and tips and some insights into my daily life as an illustrator. If this is content that you're interested in, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. This Schmincke Horadam set has 12 watercolor tubes as well as 12 empty pans. I decided to try a new way of loading my pans and only loaded them halfway up on an angle. Some people say that this makes it easier to um, wet your brush in the pan. Um, I've never tried it before so I decided that this is how I was going to load these paints. This is a very unusual setup for a palette and I'm not sure that I will use it this way. However, the reason I got this set is because it was on Super Sale and it includes a set of 12 very bright colors, 11 of which are single pigments and most of which are colors that I already use in my regular palettes or that I was curious to try. Then I left it to dry and after the paints were dried, after several days, I painted out this color wheel style uh, swatch sheet to see what all of the colors in this set look like together. As you can see, there are two yellows, one orange, a red, a pink, a magenta, three blues, and three greens. This is a fairly well balanced color wheel style palette. However, it does not include any purples, um, so any kind of violet colors I'm going to have to mix. As previously mentioned, 11 of the 12 colors in this set have um, single pigments and Additionally, 11 out of the 12 are transparent or semi-transparent, and 11 out of 12 are non-granulating. These are all attributes that I really like. Um, additionally, the, these colors are all rated light fast or very light fast. And here you can see the colors all together. For the painting portion of this review, I decided to do a fairly loose and quicker uh, botanical sketch of catnip. 
Catnip is the common name applied to a number of species in the Nepeta genus, but most frequently Nepeta cataria. Plants in the Nepeta genus, and in particular Nepeta cataria, contain a compound called Nepeta lactone, which attracts cats and makes them act a little bit crazy. Nepeta plants, uh, including catnip, are uh, closely related to mint and lemon balm and uh, wild bergamot, uh, so they have a fairly similar growth pattern. While painting these sketches, uh, I'm particularly paying attention to uh, getting, the, getting an idea of the general growth pattern of the plant as well as the dominant color. This is not a polished illustration, it's not to scale, and the details aren't quite perfect, uh, but this is just helping me get a better idea of how this plant grows and how I would choose to paint the colors in this plant. The Schmincke palette is a fun and interesting choice for painting catnip because it does not include uh, any very muted, dusty greens like the leaves of catnip, nor does it include any violets, which is the co primary color in catnip flowers. So I've had to mix quite a bit. The vibrant, transparent colors in this palette mix very well and allow me to create a subtle range of different colors to use all over this painting. Schmincke paints in general are lovely for mixing and layering because they have very consistent paint behavior between all the different paints in the line. Uh, so you don't get any surprises with one color re-wetting much more easily than another or um, being too much stronger. You can always mix very easily and layer well. In this painting, I've used a mix of perylene dark red and phthalo green as a shadow tone and then added may green for the leaves and a mix of ultramarine and ruby red for the flowers. I'm not worrying too much about the fine detail in this painting because this is just a sketch. Um, I am just testing different ways of combining the paints in this palette and seeing how I can build up shadows and layers using uh, the Schmincke palette and I am very impressed. I'm now just going to put on some music and let you enjoy the rest of this painting. I do this sort of botanical study or a sketch um, before starting many of my finished illustrations as well as when I'm testing a new a set of paints or combination. Uh, this helps me better understand my subject as well as uh, get to know my paints a little bit better.
I'm curious to hear from you what kind of preparation you do for your finished paintings and how you test out new paints. Do you paint color mixing charts? Do you do sketches like these? Or do you just jump straight in with your finished paintings? Let me know down in the comments below. All right, well, I hope that you enjoyed that painting of catnip. Of course, I couldn't let you go on the catnip video without charging the cat tax. So here's Neuron, and Neuron thinks that you should go watch Ev's video up above. So go check out her video. Before you go, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and ring the bell so that you'll see more videos like this. Bye now.